Upon completion of an approved trip, the traveler must submit an expense report within 15 days of the travel. The traveler can begin this process when all credit card transactions are available in Concur. To get started, the traveler will access Concur from the My Metro homepage on the Metronet. If off-site, Concur can be accessed via concursolutions.com using your CityNet email address and password you established on your Concur profile. This is the main home screen you should see. Available expenses will appear under task. Click the blue arrow to move forward. All travel expenses are listed for active trip or trips. If you aren't sure of a transaction, click anywhere next to the transaction selected to view the details of the charge. This is a sample of what you will see. After viewing the expenses for a particular trip, the traveler should select all relevant expenses for the trip completed by clicking the checkbox to the left. If the credit card was not used, just create new report to enter your per diem and or other out-of-pocket expenses for reimbursement. In this case, we have credit card transactions for the same trip, so we will click Move to New Report to get started. The new report will be created, and to finish the expense report, the traveler will need to create the expense report header. A report name is required. The field is free text so that you may enter the trip information. An example of this is entering NIGP Conference 2022. Also required is a request number. This number is the approved request number for this trip. Your email notification includes this request number and it's also available in the travel app under your trips. Please note to ignore the previous LEAP required fields shown in this screen, such as fund, department, division, and unit activity, as these will not appear on your screen in Concur when Workday is implemented. The field WD fund stands for Workday. This is the fund in which the expenses will post unless changed on the expense line. The cost center field represents where the expense will post in the budget. Other optional fields may be applicable based on the expenses. You can assign these fields to the applicable expense lines with the report lines, if not all purchases on your report were related to the same budget. Optional fields include custom organization, project number, program, grant, and region. Please note OMB has the right to remove or add optional fields shown available at any time. Once finished, the traveler will select Create Report in the bottom right corner of the screen. The report is created and all the selected credit card charges are assigned for processing. We will go over some options available on this page. You can review the report header again and edit if desired. Other options are also listed below that are available to view different aspects of the expense. Upon completion, you can view your expense and save to PDF or print for your records. All reports submitted are available in Concur for viewing, so this option is not necessary. To manage receipts, click Manage Attachments. You have the option to attach a receipt to the report header record if desired. However, each receipt should be attached to each line and not the header. This is more for attaching items after the transactions have been fully processed or audited. Managed travel allowance will be covered later in this training for adding per diem. Now let's review options available for this expense report. As in the previous release of Concur, there are alerts to assist the user of required fields and information. Simply click and hover on the yellow alert. As you see, it's stating a receipt must be attached to the expense. You can use the arrows to sort each option if desired. Click and hover over the red receipt image to attach receipt to selected transaction. Any receipts already available in Concur are showing to attach, or you can choose to upload a receipt image saved to your PC. Select the expenses for this trip to process and click Move to New Report. If a receipt from another trip is listed and you want to remove it from this expense report, simply select the transactions and click Move to Available Expenses. To process each expense as required, select the expense item. 
In this case, we selected to process the registration fees paid on the card. Concur will show the expense details for the transactions on the left side of the screen and the receipt image on the right side. You have the option to display or hide receipt in this view. Details of the expense are listed. Make sure that the required fields are valid for the expense. You can change them if needed. The expense type field, depending on the expense type, may be filled in for you already. If not, choose the expense type from the drop-down list available. Make sure the full account string is appropriate for the expense. The traveler and approver can change this information if necessary. WD Fund and Cost Centers are required, but other work tags may be selected to better define the expense if applicable. If multiple funding sources are covering an expense, you have the option to allocate to more than one account by using the Allocate function on the page, which we will cover later in this presentation. The next step is to provide a receipt containing merchant name, purchase details, and cost, which should match the transaction amount. If the upload receipt image is not appearing to the right of your screen, click Show Receipt, then select Upload Receipt Image. If you signed up for e-receipts on your profile, participating supplier receipts will automatically appear as an available receipt to select and attach. Choose Available Receipt or select Upload Receipt Image to locate the receipt where stored. The receipt will appear when successfully attached. Make sure it's legible or your expense report will be returned. Once complete, click Save Expense to complete this transaction. If you attached a wrong or incomplete receipt, you can simply choose to detach the image and re-upload the correct receipt. Or you can select Append to add additional pages of receipts or other information you wish to include for the expense. After saving the expense, you can see the completed transaction within your expense report. Note the receipt is visible and the alert is no longer showing for the registration transaction. Now we will cover adding per diem for reimbursement of meals not provided. On your expense report, click Travel Allowance and Manage Travel Allowance to begin. This will take you to a screen to create an itinerary of your trip. You will enter the departure and return information, but do not enter layover destinations along the way. Make sure to enter the day you left, enter the departure city, date and time of departure, arrival city, date and time you landed, and then click save. For the day you return, make sure to also enter your departure city, date and time of departure, arrival city, date and time you arrived, and click save. Select both departure and return for the trip, then click expenses and adjustments at the top of the page to show by date per diem calculated for each day. Select the meals provided by the host if applicable. Note continental breakfast does not count as a provided breakfast meal. Upon completion of marking each day, click create expenses in the bottom right corner. As you can see, your per diem was added to your expense report for reimbursement. It is required for structured training and conferences to attach an agenda to the first day's per diem listed to support your claims of meals or no meals provided for the trip. If no meals were provided, make sure it's clear on the agenda or in the comment field of the transaction. Notice the alert at the top of the page. This is not a hard stop, just a reminder. We are going to select the first day's daily allowance to attach the agenda. Click Show Receipt option in the top right corner. Upload your agenda. Once the agenda is uploaded, click Save Expense at the top or bottom of the page. You will now see your agenda is attached to your first day's per diem as required. Now we will cover how to enter mileage if you drove your personal car to travel. Click Add Expense and select Personal Car Mileage to begin. Enter where you started and your final destination for this trip in spaces provided. Once the route is calculated, select Make Round Trip to get reimbursed for mileage both to and from your destination. As you can see, the mileage is now to and from. Now you can click Add Mileage to Expense. To 
complete your mileage expense, enter the transaction date, and the purpose of the trip. The purpose of the trip can be the name of your conference or training. Click Save Expense. If you have another out-of-pocket expense to claim, you can choose Save and Add Another. To add another out-of-pocket expense, such as toll charges, select the expense type. Enter the required fields and upload your receipt image to support the expense to be reimbursed. Upon completion, click Save Expense. Now that all expenses are on the expense report, click the red button, Submit Report. Certify by clicking Accept and Continue. This will route your expense report to your approver. Now we're going to show you if any expense need to be split between two different funds or cost center strings. This is called Allocate. Select the expense you wish to allocate by percent or amount. In this example, we left the default of percent and we're splitting the charge 50-50. Notice the percentage is showing 100% currently. We will change that to 50. Then click the blue Add button so we can finish the allocation with the other 50%. Select the appropriate cost center, fund, and other work tags required, then click Save. This shows the transaction is now split 50-50, so click Save to continue your entries. As you can see on the expense report, that transaction is showing allocated under the amount. You can click Allocate to review the allocations. Once you submit report and certify by clicking Accept and Continue, this will route your expense report to your approver. Your expense will be sent to Workday for settlement of your reimbursement. Thanks for watching and happy travels.